In a previous video, we discussed about irrational number. Ninth grade itself, we discussed about rational number, but we'll go a little bit deep in tenth grade also because this kind of question they do ask for one mark. <coughs> so as you all know, in ninth grade only we discussed all this. Rational number is divided into how many parts? Two parts. One is called terminating, another one is called non-terminating. What does, term, does terminating mean? The decimal number which ends. What does non-terminating mean? The decimal number which does not end. So, by seeing any number in the fraction form only, can we determine that a number is terminating, a fraction is terminating or a fraction is non-terminating? How can we determine it? Very very simple rule we are telling you. Here is the rule. By seeing any fraction, if you see that denominator is multiple of 2, only 2, only 5 or multiple of both. If such is the case, then the number is terminating. What about non-terminating? A number is denominator if denominator is not multiple of 2, 5 or both. Let's say the number denominator is multiple of 3, the denominator is multiple of 7, the denominator is multiple of 11. If such is the case, then the fraction is non-terminating. Right? As if not, this much is clear. If you take few examples, thing will become a little more clear to you. You can see 1 by 8. If you talk about 1 by 8, clearly you can see 1 by 2 to the power of 3. Here denominator is only an only power of 2. That means the number is terminating. Denominator should be only an only factor of 2 and 5. 3, 5, 3, 7 and also not coming the denominator. If it would have been, let's say 1 by 8 would have been 1 by 24. Then what would have been? It would have been 1 by 2 to the power of 3 into 3. Alright, since 3 came in the denominator, that means this number 1 by 24 is non-terminating. It's not terminating. Getting a point? Denominator should be only an only factor of 2, 5 or both 2 and 5. That's it. Same thing, 1 by 625, 5 to the power of 4. Right? 1 by 5 to the power of 4 in the denominator only 5 came. Terminating. What about 7 by 250? It's 7 by 125 which is 5 to the power of 3 into 2. Correct? You can clearly see denominator is only multiple of 2 and 5. The number is terminating. What about this one though? 3 by 15. See, 3 by 15 looks like 3 by 3 into 5. But 3 and 3 will go away. Correct? So we are left with only 1 by 5. On denominator is only factor of 5. That means it's a terminating. Same thing, we will go for non terminating here. You can see it's a multiple of uh, 3. Or here also multiple of 3. This is multiple of 11. As I said, if denominator is only if I have multiple of 2, 5 or both, then it will be terminating. Or else in every case it will turn up as non terminating. That's it from this chapter. The topic, sorry. The next kind of uh, question they may ask you as like this, you know, they'll ask you like 1 by 625, we all know it's terminating, but the question will be like, decimal will come after how many digits, this kind of question is very very important, and it has become more important now because they ask 21 more question, so this kind of question has become very very important now. As I told you, the method is very very simple, this is going to be 1 by 5 to the power of 4. So whenever you want to put the decimal, what is your idea? Your idea is to make the denominator as 10. If you want to make the denominator as 10, then this will be how much 5 to the power of 4. Here you have to multiply by 2 to the power of 4. Numerator also multiply by 2 to the power of 4. So numerator became how much? 16. Denominator is how much? 10 to the power of 4. Now concentrate on the power. How much is the power? 4. If power is 4, that means decimal will come 4 digit from the end. That's what we teach you, right? Decimal will come 
फोर डिजिट फ्रॉम एन सम पीपल विल यू वंडरिंग सर व्हाई सर हाउ सर सी हाउ एंड व्हाई 16 डिवाइडेड बाय 10 टू द पावर ऑफ 4 मींस व्हाट 203040 राइट सिंस 40 इज देयर सो डेसिमल शुड कम आफ्टर फोर डिजिट एंड रिप्रेजेंटेशन टू बी हाउ मच 0.00161234 आफ्टर फोर डिजिट फ्रॉम द एंड डेसिमल विल कम सो व्हाट इज द मोर ऑफ द स्टोरी मोर ऑफ द स्टोरी इज वी शुड मेक द डिनोमिनेटर 10 as a read here and then you should concentrate on how much is the power of 10 the power of 10 is 4 that means decimal will come four digit from the end you press the power of 10 is 5 then decimal will come five digit from end and so on so this type of question will also become very important for one more question now the next thing i wanted to tell you is how to prove the question will be like prove that prove that 2 into 3 into 5 into 5 5 into 7 plus 5 into 7 this number is a composite number So the first question is, sir, what is composite number? I don't know that only. Here, very very simple. Any number which is not prime is called composite. So what is prime number? The number should be divided by the number itself and one. That's all. I said three. Three can be divided by three and one. That's all. That means a prime. What about eleven? Eleven can be divided by eleven and one. There is no number in between which which it can be divided. That means eleven is a prime number. So the number which is not prime is composite twelve, eighteen, twelve can divided by three, four, two, so it's of course composite eighteen. It can divided by two, three, six, nine. That means it's also composite. So any number which can have factor, any number which has factor is composite. So what is composite number? Any number which has factor other than the number itself and one. So in this question, if you observe. We have two into three into five into five into seven plus five into seven. Five and seven are the two number which can be taken as common. So we will take five into seven. Then we are left with two into three into five plus one. Clearly, you can see the number is multiple of five also. The number is multiple of seven also. If a number is multiple of five and seven, that means number is composite. Number is multiple of five and seven. Hence, it is composite. Very simple, very easy. No, no issue. Okay. I'll take one more question. A different, different type of question we are taking. The next question can be like, so that, so that six to the power of n will not end with zero. It should not end with zero. So, which number will not end with zero? Any number which factor is not two and five, both. Any number whose factor is not two and five, both, that number will not end with zero. Keep that in mind. Any number which has two and factor both, that number only will end with zero. So, six to the power of n can be written as. 2 into 3 to the power of n. Now, clearly, you can see 2 is a factor. 5 is not a factor. 5 is not present here in the factor. So this is will not end with zero. Since 5 is not a factor of 6, so 
So, 6 to the power of n will not end with 0. Any number if it has to end with 0, then two, it should have 2 and 5 both as factor. Then only it will end with 0.